Hey guys, how you doing? Good to see you again. It's Ryan here with dpmarketing.services. Coming at you with my cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, good to see you. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing well. Um, coming at you with a, with a conversation that uh, we hear a lot and want to think it through with you. So um, a lot of guys, maybe you're one of them, uh, you're a plumbing, you're an HVC contractor, and you see like all your competition, you see all these new sexy slick websites out that all your the competition and all the other guys are town doing. You go, man, that looks really cool. Man, they can do this cool chat thing. And man, they can do this cool online booking. Or man, this truck drives in. Whatever, right? Like, it's easy to get wanderlust when you see um, different applications of technology, especially when it's competition, and go, man, if only I had that, I would have so much more business. And uh, while I understand what you're saying, I would probably make the argument that that is a really common myth. Um, there is a time and a place for improving the website, right? So for instance, if you've ever, if you ever talked to me or met us at a conference or anything, you know that I have two things that a website should do and only two. Uh, one, it should rank on Google. If it doesn't rank on Google, the thing's broken. Two, it should convert your website traffic to leads. If it doesn't do that, the thing's broken. It's got to do both. It can't do one, it can't do the other, but it's got to do both. So as long as those two criteria are met, like I, my personal thing is it doesn't really matter if if it's got this cool widget and does this cool fancy thing. It, it doesn't matter, right? It just doesn't matter. So here's what happens though. A lot of guys will go, well, I want a website. And maybe they'll find someone that can do a website for $5,000 or maybe they find someone who's really, really good and they can do a website for $50,000. It doesn't really matter how much you spend. But you will throw a crap ton of money at getting this really cool website. You have all the cool animation and all this interactive stuff, and then you launch it, and your expectation is you just paid 50 grand for a website or however much you paid. You're gonna suddenly have all this more business. People are just gonna find you, and you're gonna be busy, and it's gonna be amazing, and your competition is gonna be laughing or wondering what on earth did you do to pass them like that. And so you launch the website, nothing changes. A week later, nothing changes. Two months later, nothing changes. A year later, nothing changes. And at some point you go, why on earth did I spend so much money getting a website if nothing changed? Right? And totally hear you. Here is the hard truth about websites. You ready? Websites by themselves are a fancy doormat. That's it. They don't make anything happen special. Yes, you can do all this cool technology. Yes, you can find ways to book more leads. All those things are true. However, all of those things require one thing to happen first, for people to go to your website. Now look, this sounds really obvious. If people don't go to your website, they will never be able to see how cool it is and see those online booking forms and see all this cool stuff that you just spent a lot of money to do. People have to find your website. So you really have two primary ways of driving traffic to your website. One is SEO, right? You do all this search engine optimization, you start getting backlinks, you start writing blogs, you start doing press releases, you start building this organic authority. It takes time, there's nothing fast about that. But over time, you start getting more and more customers in your area. And if your site is done well and the SEO strategies are managed well, that you'll find yourself able to have more and more leads just from the organic internet, right? And uh, we've talked in other videos before, SEO, again, is not something you do once and walk away. So if you're thinking, well, I SEO'd it when I got it, that's not what I'm talking about here. Um, the second way of getting traffic is paid traffic, right? So you can do... AdWords, you could do Bing ads, you could do Yelp ads, you could do uh, Facebook ads, but basically you're paying a company to give you that traffic. One is organic, takes time, one is paid, it's faster, but it costs you. You have to do one of those two things. That's the only way people will know that your website exists. That's it. And the paid traffic can happen in a couple of ways, right? So I've mentioned a couple of digital things like Bing ads and Facebook and AdWords, et cetera. But there's also things like billboard TV, radio, where you would say the website name. That's still a type of paid traffic. You're still paying to be on that radio station at that time to say your business name to drive the traffic. So 
the website by itself is important, right? You can't overlook the website. If you were to pay for traffic and do the SEO but not fo focus on the website, you, you're going to be very disappointed. However, you can't flip it around and go, well, I'm just going to do the website and magically everything will change. That rarely happens. So maybe you've experienced that before where you go, man, I've, I paid a lot of money for a website, but the thing isn't ranking or it's not converting or just no one's finding it. Um, give us a call. I'd love to be able to talk you through maybe some ideas on helping boost that visibility and get you in front of more eyeballs. Um, but just know a new website is not, is not the magic cure. It's not the thing you're looking for. It's not the next shiny, pretty thing that some salesman's going to try to talk you into. That's not why you should get a website. The website has two jobs, rank on Google and convert your site traffic to leads. Now you got to get those, the site, the traffic to your site, right? You can do it organically or you can do it through paid. One of those two. But if you just build a website and do nothing else, it's just a doormat and you will make zero money from your doormat. I would love to know about you. What is your experience with your website? Um, how, what sort of headaches have you had? What sort of hard lessons have you found? Um, and I would love for you to leave a comment below. Um, as always, guys, follow us on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, stay safe out there, and I will see you next time. See ya.